All right, gonna unbox the uh, 3.0. put some of the primo salt in there and it just so happens we got a jerk on the camera I tell you this is a lot lighter than the original but it's supposed to have more bang for the buck so let's see how it does on the first shot sights up push the fire let's go get the bad guy so that I can record it up close, I'm going to use the foam attachment that goes on top of the bug assault. It has a cute little fly on top of it. Bonus round. Bonus round. Bonus round. Oh, <laughs> shit. So the first shot I didn't realize you see through the hole at the bottom so you can see the sight and I was just trying to do it like that. That's why you read instructions. But that's why I hit all the rest of the bugs right on. Wah, wah. This sucker is a lot more powerful than the original. And the original is pretty powerful. Like this sucker had a hell of a punch and one thing I love is that the button stays on fire now instead of having to do it every single time. It just feels badass in the hand, too. And the fly is cute. I like him. Hey, buddy. I tell you, I'm thoroughly impressed. It's lighter. It feels more sturdier. And uh, in my original review video for Bugger Saw, I talked about how sturdy the plastic was. Well, this plastic feels even more sturdy. You know, it don't feel like it's going to break if you rack it or anything like that. This is actually so cool and well thought out. The way it locks on and then... You know, just plain cuteness of it. So, the little thing opens up right here and clamps down. And that's how you also get your sight view. I don't know, I just thought, I love little inventions like this. Pity to fly. That's cool. <laughs>